Welcome back. With the final approval given by Northport City Commissioners, the Atlanta Braves will be moving spring training home to Northport. Yesterday's vote was a long time coming, but how long will it take until opening day? ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us now live from Northport with more. Christopher. Well, good evening. That vote did not come easily and it did not come unanimously. That is approved uh, three to two with uh, Commissioner McDowell and Mayor Yates dissenting. With the three to two vote, the Braves were given their final approval. But for part of Tuesday's meeting, it didn't seem like it might pass. Every single document we received was your back's against the wall. You have to accept this or else everything's going to fall apart. Mayor Yates worried that critical documents were left out of the agreement they were voting on. One example, she says, the multi-purpose fields around the stadium will double as overflow parking for game days. She was under the impression they would be dedicated fields for the community. My mom always said, if you're forced to sign a contract and you know there's things wrong with that contract, you shouldn't sign it. But at the end of the day, the West Villages, the organization spearheading the project, can now breathe a sigh of relief. West Village's marketing manager, Sandra Guffey. Well, we're very glad that it's passed. It has been a long process, as you can imagine. But that relief is short-lived. While the final approval has been given, now the hard part begins. Ground will be broken in October. Probably November, start to see a little more happening so that we are able to host the first game here in February of 2019. But it won't be cheap. City of Northport taxpayers dished out $5 million Sarasota County spent $22 million in tourism tax dollars. The Braves themselves are paying $7.5 million up front. The West Villages applied for and got $20 million in state funding. All told, the project will be about $75 million. And although that price tag is pretty high, the local governments are hoping they will actually have a higher return on their investment in the form of new people coming into the area spending money and thus bolstering the economy. Live in Northport, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Christopher, thank you. Bradenton police make an arrest in a deadly beating. Hours after the victim, Christopher Bang, passed away. Police arresting Stanley Jean, or Jean. He's now charged with manslaughter. Police say Bang was found one week ago on 15th Street West in Bradenton with traumatic injuries to his face and head. He was taken to Blake Medical Center, but later died from his injuries. A string of burglaries at Ellington Premium Outlets seem to be targeting a specific chain. Manatee County Sheriff's deputies say two Sunglass Hut locations at the outlet shopping center were robbed over the past few days. Deputies say one store was broken into on Monday and multiple sunglasses were stolen. And then this morning, another Sunglass Hut was also burglarized. If you have any information on these robberies, please call Manatee County Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen, 866-634-TIPS. After eight years on the job, a hard-working canine with the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is retiring his badge throughout his career. Hero was deployed more than 1,200 times for searches and narcotic sniffs and responsible for finding more than 100 criminal suspects and missing persons. Last year, the canine was recognized by the National Police Canine Association Narcotic Detection Trials and was awarded Employee of the Month in November. Hero will live out his retirement with his training deputy, and his family. Well, a big thank you for his service. Sea turtles are slowly making a comeback from the brink of extinction. Scientists looked at nearly 60 regions across the world and they found that more turtle populations are increasing than they are declining. Experts say that's a big change from a decade or two ago. They credit conservation efforts, including darker, quieter beaches for nesting. And there are seven different species of large sea turtles, all but one of those are endangered. As for sea turtle nesting season here on the Sun Coast, Moat Marine Lab in Sarasota is still assessing what impact Hurricane Irma had on the nests and have not yet released any information. I definitely got a chance to head out to Longboat Key recently and saw that some of those nests, uh, the, the stakes had kind of washed away. So I'm, I'm a little concerned yeah. about them. Well, they, they do keep track of where those, those nests are through GPS, so they know the exact location. and. Um, and I learned uh, this summer that sea turtles, a, a female, will lay several nests along our beaches. So right. 
that increases the odds yeah. that uh, some of them will make it. Well, oh, let's hope yeah. that they did. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get a check on our weather here at home. The return of afternoon showers. And here's Bob Harrigan with more. That's right. We have some showers and a few uh, storms around. There's been some lightning with these cells here in Highlands County. Just a few, uh, but nothing too significant on the radar screen as far as any kind of severe weather goes. You can see some rainfall near Siesta Key, also near Lido and Longboat Key, and also right there getting ready to move off. Uh, it's at the airport stretching all the way down into Newtown and then places to near downtown Sarasota and near Warm Mineral Springs, also north, uh, Northport getting some showers there, uh, currently moving off to the west near Center Road into Venice and then to the north, as I mentioned, North Siesta getting a little bit of rainfall, Lido, and then that rain from the airport southward all the way down to near downtown Sarasota, uh, pushing off toward the west, southwest at 5 to 10. So a few showers around today, not as many tomorrow as high pressure builds in right over the top of us and dries us out a little bit. 91, our current temperature, the heat index way up there at 97, and the dew point temperature is uh, fairly low at 70 degrees. As far as uh, temperatures go around the area, into the upper 80s uh, to low 90s now, 91 in Northport, although they're cooling down now with that rain shower nearby, and 85 gulf temperature. Cortez at 89, Bradenton, you're at 93 degrees, and in the tropics, we continue to watch the progress of Maria now down to a Category 2 hurricane, and it's continuing now to move off toward the northwest, and looks as though it will miss Florida and possibly most of the Bahamas. We'll talk more about its path coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. Okay, Bob, thank you. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announcing today the Senate will vote on Graham Cassidy, the latest GOP health care plan next week. The administration is pushing the bill hard, but critics say it's even worse than the previous GOP plans. ABC's Lana Zak shows us what this new plan includes. This is a really an emergency. It's all hands on deck, red alert. Opponents of Graham Cassidy, the latest Republican plan to repeal and replace health care, are and trying to agreement. raise the alarm. And this guy, Bill Cassidy, just lied right to my face. With the Senate planning to vote on the bill even before the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office estimates the effect of the bill on well, the uninsured. The One of the authors of the bill, Washington Senator Cassidy, DC. had appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live in May and promised health care would pass what Cassidy called the Jimmy Kimmel test. After Kimmel made a passionate plea that all families should have access to life saving surgery like his newborn son. This new bill actually does pass the Jimmy Kimmel test, but a um, uh, different Jimmy Kimmel test. With this one, your child with a pre-existing condition will get the care he needs if and only if his father is Jimmy Kimmel. Otherwise, you might be screwed. Cassidy denied the allegation. We share a passion that folks have coverage, that we care for those with pre-existing conditions. But his bill would allow states to apply for waivers to allow insurance companies to charge more for patients with pre-existing conditions and possibly set lifetime caps. Even President Obama weighed in. And all of this being done without any demonstrable economic or actuarial or plain common sense rationale, uh, it, it frustrates. Nonetheless, the Republican leadership says Nobody they are optimistic. Than, uh, it is better than the status quo by far, and I think that's an argument we're all comfortable with making. The Trump administration is making a full court press. At one point, Vice President Pence actually left the U.N. Security Council meeting to powwow with McConnell, and President Trump is calling out some senators on Twitter, like Rand Paul, who are leaning no. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington. The Suncoast's best-known champion for Planned Parenthood recently announced her retirement following President Trump's efforts to cut funding to the organization. Barbara Dravecki had been the president and CEO of Planned Parenthood of Southwest and Central Florida for more than two decades. And despite the nonprofit's controversial efforts, she has the respect of Planned Parenthood supporters and some of the organization's most ardent critics. People are going to miss Barbara Dravecki's leadership just generally because she was uh, a terrific member of the community uh, and she showed courage and grace in the face of a lot of difficulty. Barbara Dravecki, um, I've known for 25 years almost um, and I know her to be very single-minded and focused on what she does at Planned Parenthood. Um, I just think it's the wrong organization for her to have committed to. Dravecki has played a big role in raising funds for the organization on the Sun Coast. There's been no an announcement as to who will replace her, but tonight at 7 we'll take a closer look at the impact she leaves behind. If your wallet is taking a hit at the gas pump these days, blame it on the hurricane. Hurricane Harvey slowed the oil refining process in Texas, and then Hurricane Irma raised the demand for gas here in Florida. Now gas prices in the state have hit a three-year high. The cost of a gallon of gas has gone up by 46 cents in just over the past month. 
There is some good news. AAA officials believe prices should start to slowly drop again soon. Barring any more uh, disruptive hurricanes uh, as we've had, uh, we expect prices to, to continue to drop over the next days and the next weeks. Um, and, and actually, we foresee uh, before we celebrate New Year's Day this year that we'll see the lowest prices of 2017. Gas prices will not go down as quickly as they went up, though, but they are expected to drop by about 30 cents a gallon in the coming weeks. City of Northport continues to clean up damage caused by Hurricane Irma. Crews from the city's Public Works Department have removed two boats from the Coco Plum Waterway, along with three wooden docks that had come apart. City officials say if there's no contact information on that debris, it is then taken to the landfill. It's history after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at all that stuff they're pulling out. Yeah. Certainly a lot of cleanup across the mm -hmm. Suncoast still going All on. All across the area. Still to come in your Suncoast news, smoking e-cigarettes may be better for your lungs than the real thing. But what about the other health consequences? We'll take a look at how e-cigs affect your body when we return. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all. Surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wanna Be Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate... Or shop at Goodwill... I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. It's going to be a little bit time consuming and probably a bit tedious, but world's better than it could have been. We can rebuild. There's no problem about that. You know, you can put a new roof on, on a mobile home, you know, or new windows in there. But as long as you have your life, you know, that's all that matters. Some say cigarettes are healthier for the lungs, but they are dangerous in a second way. Well, ABC's Arlette Signs explains. They're the sexy devices that introduced us to vaping, e-cigarettes, an instant hit with young people, and with fans saying that vaping comes with lower concentrations of cancer-producing substances, it made a healthier choice than traditional cigarettes. But while e-cigarettes don't offer smoke, they do give a hit of nicotine. And new research out today says that could pose risks to the heart. Researchers at UCLA studied the effects of e-cigarettes on the hearts of healthy non-smokers. 
E-cigarettes with nicotine increased adrenaline levels in their hearts, a change that in turn can affect heart rate and blood pressure. The concern, the potential for a higher risk of heart damage or even death due to an increase in heart rate variability, something that previous studies have demonstrated. This study was a small one, exclusively on healthy non-smokers, so more research is needed. Another warning, that while e-cigarettes might be safer than traditional ones, vaping may not be an entirely risk-free proposition. With this Medical Minute, I'm Arlette Sines, ABC News. CVS is on a million-dollar mission to reduce tobacco smoking among young Americans. CVS's charitable foundation announcing it has teamed up with the American Cancer Society and Truth Initiative to provide grants to 126 colleges and universities to help them become tobacco-free. The foundation is donating more than $1 million or about $10,000 a school. The money will go towards things like no smoking signs and programs to help students, staff, and faculty quit smoking. Now your ABC 7 first alert weather forecast with Chief Harrigan. Here's a look at the rainfall now. We're getting some rain, showers and storms lining up, mainly south of uh, the, uh, actually, Tampa Bay area, really. There's not much north there. There's a little drier air right there. But in Sarasota County, the rain has been moderate to heavy at times, uh, right there near Siesta Key. Also uh, in downtown Sarasota, getting some rainfall, stretching out toward Lido. And it uh, looks like it's lessening up now on Siesta Key. But some uh, shower activity right there near the meadows, uh, stretching off toward, again, uh, downtown Sarasota. This cell in particular is going to be heading right toward Longbow Key. It's already there, in fact. And it looks like uh, North Sarasota getting some rainfall near University Parkway and uh, places to the west there. It's moving to the west at around 10 miles an hour. And then you can see some showers down south and near Sumter Boulevard. And it looks like even near... A warm Mineral Springs had some showers that has now shifted off to the west now along US 41, uh, right, right near Plantation. Also some activity, as I mentioned, uh, near Northport. All that, again, pushing off to the west. Well, there's a little bit of a high-pressure ridge building in over the top of us right now, and that's going to shut our rain uh, chances down a little bit. And uh, the outflow from Maria will also cause us to see less activity on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. But... Until then, a better chance for showers and storms comes back into play on Friday and into Saturday. Here's a look at the current conditions. We have 91 degrees right now. The dew point temperature is comfortable at 70, and the, it feels like temperature 97 degrees right now. Winds out of the northeast at 8, and the high today was a, a few degrees above average at 92. 73 was the morning low, which was 1 degree below the average. No rainfall to report today, at least at the airport. Although uh, we have had some rain there just in the last half hour, it hasn't measured quite yet. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. But some areas getting some uh, uh, additional rainfall, especially into the islands there. Longbow Key, you're going to get some pretty heavy downpour right now. Well, they're continuing to see life-threatening flooding going on down in Puerto Rico as Maria is still a very dangerous hurricane. 70-mile-an-hour winds with this tropical storm. Jose, there are tropical storm warnings out for Cape Cod, and then this system is going to actually move back toward the southwest over the next several days and just kind of hang out right there. Eventually, Maria will absorb that, I do believe, once it moves close to it. Well, it has cleared now the uh, Puerto Rico and now out over into the Atlantic. The center is becoming more defined now. This could strengthen back up to Category 3 status. It's now down to a Category 2, but look at all that moisture that continues to wrap right on into the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. So this isn't over. They're going to deal with very heavy rains. As it draws this moisture up, as the system slowly moves off to the northwest, the flooding is not over. Unfortunately, uh, the flood issue now is becoming the big story, not the wind anymore, but just the intense amount of rainfall. They're going to see in some isolated areas up to 20 to 25 inches of rain as uh, the storm slowly moves away over the next 12 hours. It won't be that far away, and they'll still be getting those rain bands in there. And then by Thursday, it's back to a Category 3 status, and then it will stay that way, it looks like, uh, through Saturday, diminishing somewhat by Sunday as it starts to bend off to the northeast. However, there are some long-term models that do suggest that we will see this thing possibly get very close to the northern New England states in time. There are all the models, and you'll see a couple of them kind of dodge right toward uh, the mid-Atlantic coast states and the Delmarva uh, Peninsula, and then off toward the northeast in time. So there's a big chance we could see some effects of this. Uh, in northeast United States. For boaters tomorrow, northeasterly winds uh, turn to the north at 5 to 10 knots. Seas will be running right around 1 to 2 feet with a light chop out there. Water temperature at 85 degrees, and uh, the beaches will see a high right around 88. Should be a good beach day. Low tide at 816, and high tide will be at 130. That should be Wednesday, by the way. And the forecast, partly cloudy, a few evening showers, 74 for your low. And then tomorrow, a slight chance at 20% for a, 
occasional shower. Nothing like we're seeing today. And the extended forecast calling for a better chance for showers and storms comes Friday afternoon. Friday night, there's a 40% chance, 60% chance on Saturday. And then we'll see drier conditions as a result of Maria. Back to you. All right, thank you, Bob. Time now to check your first alert traffic for the drive home. Right now, we're seeing some slowdowns north and southbound along US 41 from Clark Road past Fruitville. And also along I-75 northbound, drivers are also seeing some delays near the University Parkway exit. And remember, you can get information about serious accidents and important road closures instantly on your phone. All you have to do is download our My Sun Coast app. You'll get traffic alerts, important news updates, and weather forecasts delivered directly to your phone. A popular minivan is being recalled because of a serious seatbelt issue. Fiat Chrysler is recalling nearly 50,000 Pacifica vans in the U.S. and Canada for the problem. During spirited driving, the center buckle could hit the release button on the left buckle and then cause it to unlatch. There have been no reports of any crashes or injuries from this problem, but until repairs are made, owners should not use the second row center seat if other passengers are in that row. Well, you will soon be able to fly nonstop from Fort Myers to Omaha and back through Frontier Airlines. The service will start on November 9th, and the flights will be offered on Thursdays and Sundays through December 7th. Frontier will then change the Omaha flights to Mondays and Fridays after December 15th. Frontier also flies nonstop to Denver and seasonally to Orlando International Airport. Sounds like a nice little quick trip if you want to head out. To Omaha? Or Denver. Never been there. <laughs> Denver's a good spot. Neither. Yeah. Entertainment News is next. Stay with us. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Nobody beats Subaru in service quality, vehicle quality, and overall quality. And AOT named Subaru the 2017 top brand for residual value. Now lease the most fuel efficient vehicle in its class, a new Subaru Outback for just $239 a month. Or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. It's Willamania at the Player Center as the Will Rogers Follies takes the stage September 27th. Part homespun humor and part Ziegfeld Follies, this toe-tapping Tony Award musical is the start of our wild Broadway series. So call the players at 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You need to catch Willamania. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Well, it's been a big week for actresses starring in blockbuster franchises. Director and producer James Cameron says Linda Hamilton will return to the Terminator franchise. The planned sequel will be the first time Hamilton has been billed in the franchise since the 1991 film Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Cameron is producing the sequel, which Deadpool filmmaker Tim Miller is directing. And yes, Arnold Schwarzenegger will also 
be back. And with the release of the new trailer for Tomb Raider, fans everywhere are getting a better idea of actress Alicia Vikander's role of Lara Croft. Angelina Jolie originally played the character adapted from a popular video game. Vikander won an Academy Award for her supporting role in the movie The Danish Girl. She's also known for her performances in Ex Machina and Jason Bourne. A lawyer for a woman involved in the Kevin Hart scandal says someone secretly placed cameras in his Las Vegas hotel suite and made bedroom images of the two. Hart publicly brought up the matter last weekend in an Instagram video in which he apologized to his family, saying it was an error in judgment. The woman is neither suing the actor or comedian nor demanding any money from him. A police report is expected to be filed so that the matter can be turned over to law enforcement. Don Henley, Lyle Lovett, and Clint Black are the latest music musicians planning a concert to raise money for victims of Hurricane Harvey. The trio is announcing a November 28th show in Fort Worth, and tickets will go on sale this Friday for the Helping Texans, a Hurricane Harvey benefit concert. Proceeds will then be distributed by the North Texas Community Foundation. Certainly love seeing artists being able to give back to such great efforts. Talented ones right there. It'll be a good show. And we'll be right back with more news. Stay with us. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. It's Lincoln's summer sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKX Sport Utility for $349 per month or Lincoln's flagship, the 2017 Continental, for $449 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota-Bradenton Airport on US-41.